You all have done great work in your life. So it's equally important to highlight that to your potential employer or the institution where you are applying to. And your resume will do that for you. So hi everyone, my name is Rohit Jha and in this video I'm going to specifically talk about a very important element of your resume that is your career summary and how you should frame this section of your resume. So I've already made a separate uh, video on the resume format so you can refer to that video and uh, link is mentioned in the description. So as promised I am now making videos uh, one by one on all the elements of your resume. So this is in that series this will be the first one on career summary. So let's talk about the career summary. So career summary consists of three important uh, things. Number one is your professional highlights. Number two is your personality or the soft skill part or leadership. And number three, what exactly you are seeking right now in your career or maybe in future. So it's a blend of all the three things and it should be mentioned in a couple of lines. So now let's talk about the first one, which is your professional highlight. Now what you should mention in the professional highlight? Again, three important elements. Number one is your industry experience. Number two, number of years of experience. And number three is your domain experience. So it, it is a combination of all. So for example, you can say I have a 10, year, uh, year, 10 years of experience in the banking industry in the branch operations or banking operations. So this will uh, summarize all your experience in just one line. Now, if you have uh, worked in multiple industries, then definitely you should pick up one or two where you have worked the most maybe in terms of numbers of years or in terms of your achievements if you think that's worth highlighting so you can mention worked across uh, multiple industries such as x and y and uh, in number of years as well as the domain so you can mention that as well now let's talk about the second important element of your career summary that's your personality or your soft skill or leadership side now this is very important you you have to pick up two to three of the best traits which can summarize you as a person, as an individual. So those two to three things should highlight you. So how, how will you mention that? Just go back, dig down in your experience, see what kind of a person you were, uh, just analyze all your projects, assignments and experiences that you had. So I'll give you an example. Now you could be anything. You could be an effective communicator. You could be a very good decision maker. Uh, you could be a leader, you could be a coach, you could be a mentor and you could do anything. You could be a creative person. So you can mention anything which describes you as a person, as an individual in just two to three attributes. But let me warn you one thing, whatever you mention, just be ready with some examples with real time experiences to back those personality attributes because that's what you are. So that's how you mention the personality. Now the last one is very important is what exactly you are seeking in your life or in your career. Now this one you can tweak a little bit and make multiple versions for different industries if you are applying to or different roles. So you, by the term seeking which means you can mention anything in terms of industry you are seeking, in terms of domain you are seeking something or in terms of the seniority level you are seeking something. Now for example you can mention that uh, I am seeking uh, sales leadership roles across the telecom industry. Or you can also say uh, that I'm seeking senior management roles across different industries because when you reach to that level, you can work in any industry. So again, it completely depends on your intent, what exactly you want to, uh, you are, you want to look out in the market. So it depends on the age and stage of your career. So definitely highlight all the things, all the three elements in just three to four lines, not more than that. That should be a crisp career summary for your resume. Let me summarize this for you. So the three important elements of career summary are number one, professional highlights. Uh, number two, your personality or soft skill part. And number three, what exactly you are seeking in your career at this moment or in future. So that's how you should frame your answer. Do follow our blogs for more detail and sample answers and do like, share, comment and subscribe so that we can make more videos and we can also improve in future. So thank you so much. Stay tuned for our next video. Take care and bye-bye.